Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Uh, Steve Rhodes coming to you live. Uh, this is your 9 a.m. update on uh, November the 25th. Thanks so much for joining us right now. If we take a look at the uh, futures, the equity futures, they're all pointed to the north. They're all green. You've got the Dow equity futures trading up 78 points. 27,940 is the print. The S&P is up nine points. She's trading at 3120. Uh, the NASDAQ is up 34 points, about four tenths of a percent to the upside. 83.14 is its print. The Russell is up three tenths of a percent. That's five points in change. She's trading out at 1596 out there. Uh, overseas, uh, last evening, we had all of Asia. When I say all of Asia, I'm referring to the Shanghai, the Hang Seng, and the Nikkei uh, all up. In fact, um, the uh, seven tenths of a percent to one and a half percent. The Hang Seng was up one and a half percent, 397 points out there. Australia closed higher. Uh, up the uh, Australian 200, S&P up 22 points. She closed out at 67.31. And if we take a look in Europe right now, both the DAX in Germany, the FTSE in the UK, they're trading both up 69 points or so. Gold is off seven bucks. Silver down 11 pennies. Light sweet crude is off 10 cents. Natural gas pulling back down 5% as we speak right now. You've got the U.S. Treasury bond uh, basically flat out here. So if we go take a look at what's going on, when I say what's going on, obviously gave you a feel for what the equity markets are doing. But what are they trading into, if anything? Well, if we take a look at the uh, if we take a look at the uh, TAS market profile levels out here, you're going to see that the ES Mini is trading right into the resistance level. That's the top of its profile. That price point, by the way, I mentioned it was trading at 31.20 and two ticks. The top of that box, the top of the daily box, is basically 30.21. So you've got price trading into resistance. Now, if price does close above this level today. Again, that's 30, 20, 31, 21. That would suggest a move back to the all-time highs, maybe even piercing those levels and continuing its trek higher. The NQ, not the same uh, scenario yet. If price, although it's trading up uh, percentage-wise, the largest uh, percentage-wise mover to the upside, uh, it's got much further to go before it runs into what should be or could be resistance, the top of its daily profile, 83.44. Now, the Dow gapped up. Well, the Dow, the ES Mini, and the Russell 2000 all gapped up last night. The Dow gapped up above the top of that daily profile. 27,864. That's the number to watch at today's close. Prices above that says it wants to move to higher ground. Folks, stay tuned. I'll be filling in for Larry Pesavento. Have a magical Monday. I look forward to seeing you soon.